Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday's English lesson this morning. I hope you're all safe and well. Um, we are going to be starting to look at our new book today. Now that we've finished Varjak, um, we're going to be moving on. We're looking at um, a book over the next few weeks, which it probably take us, we reckon, about three weeks to work on it. Um, it's a little bit smaller than Varjak, and there's a, quite a lot of picture content in it as well. So um, we'll be using it to, to write some lovely descriptive um, writing. Um, I'm not going to tell you the name of the book yet. Um, but I will reveal it later on in the lesson this morning. We are this morning going to be making some predictions. Now, we're used to predictions. It's part of Vipers, which we use in our reading comprehension lessons. Um, and usually we do this on a Monday. And on a Monday, we will look at the, the book that we are going to be studying that week. And we have a we, we make some guesses, don't we, based on the evidence in front of us. And that's kind of what we're going to do this morning. OK, so. First of all, then, what I want you to do um, is have a little look at the pictures on the next slide. And I want you to um, have a little look. Tell me, what do you think the book might be about just based on these slides? And it's not going to be easy to do this. It's, and and the, the predictions might be, as we've often said in class, they might be way um, out. There might be nowhere near what actually does happen in the book, but that doesn't matter. You are making predictions based on what's in front of you. Um, so there is no right or wrong as long as you can say why you think that. OK, so here we go. There's some pictures from the new book here. What do you think the book might be about and why do you think that? OK, so just have a little think. Look at the pictures. Talk with an adult if you're at home, with a partner if you're in school. And then we'll come back together and be ready to move on. OK, so have a little look. Not much to go on so far. Press pause now. OK, so we've got some really interesting pictures here. There, um, these, there are some mice up here. We've got a landscape down here. We look like we've got a character here with possibly an animal in behind. And then what on earth are these characters here? Some really interesting things. And I'm wondering um, how you got on with making a prediction. OK, here are some more clues um, as to what the book might be about. Here again are some pictures. Um, has it helped you, you know, do the, looking at these pictures back up what you've already said? Or now are you changing your mind a little bit? Have a little think, look at those pictures, press pause while you're looking and press play when you're ready to come back. OK, well, it looks like there are three main characters. These three seem to be the main characters in the story. Again, we've got another um, picture of the landscape there. And here, one of the characters appears to be holding up um, was it a duck or a bird of some description. And what on earth this chap is here, again, we still really don't know. So I'm wondering now, what sort of predictions have you made? Now, on the website this morning, um, I've loaded up um, a prediction sheet. OK, so on uh, Tuesday's slide on the website, you'll find this sheet. Now, you can either copy it and use the headings in your books, or if you want to print it, you are more than welcome to. The first job this morning, the predictions that you've just made, the ideas that you've just had, could you write them onto this part of the sheet? OK, I've highlighted it in yellow there, so it's quite clear. You won't have very long. I've said two minutes. I will probably stretch that to five if you need it. OK, basic predictions on what you think the story might be about. And don't forget, it doesn't have to be right. OK, in fact, it might change as you're going through this morning. OK, so initial predictions in there, please. Press pause now. OK, so hopefully you've got some ideas down on your sheet, your initial ideas. The second part this morning, we're going to look at the, the Wordle. The Wordle might start to reveal something about the story. OK, um, we're used to using Wordles at some points during the course of this year. Have a little look at the words. Does this now change your ideas? Have you got a different idea now as to what you think the story might be about? I'm going to press, ask you to press pause while you're looking at the Wordle and press play when you're ready to come back and listen but you are going to be making further predictions based on 
this Wordle. Okay, so have a really good look at the words. Press pause now. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I hope you've had a good look at that Wordle and you've got lots of good ideas as to what you think the story might be about. Now we're going to go for the second box, which is highlighted in yellow here on your sheet. Have you changed your mind slightly? What do you think the story might be about now? So this might be different from your first box. Have you changed your mind or are you still thinking your first box is bang on, that you're correct? OK, so have a little go. Um, again, I reckon five minutes will be plenty. Um, press pause while you're looking and press play when you're ready to come back. OK, now we're ready to start thinking about this third box. OK, I am now going to reveal the name of the book and the front cover. OK, what I'm going to ask you to do once you have a look at it here. So here we go. Mouse, bird, snake, wolf. Strange title for a book, but that is the name of our book. Now, at the bottom of the front cover here, you can see one of the pictures from earlier on. What I want you to do now is to have a little think about what you think the story might be about now. Have your ideas changed? It says write your ideas on a whiteboard. What I'm going to ask you to do, actually, is to write any ideas that you've got as to what the story might be about now into this box here. OK, this might be different from the second box. It might be different from the first box. That really doesn't matter. Remember, you're making predictions based on what is put in front of you. So don't panic. Go for it now. Five minutes. Press play when you are ready to come back. OK, well, I'm sure if I'm not mistaken, and when I did this, I had to go at doing this myself last week. I had um, three very different boxes, okay? I, my ideas were changing all the time, and that is perfectly okay. So if you've got three, three different sets of ideas, then that probably makes a lot of sense, to be honest. Um, now, what I want you to do at the very bottom of the sheet here, I want you to now base your final predictions as to what you think the story might be about into here. So you might actually take some of these ideas, you might add some of these ideas to it, and you might be thinking, OK, I'm going to add something from here as well. And then I want you to write it into the bottom box here. So these are your final predictions based on what you think the story might be about. OK, lots of P going on today. P from Vipers prediction. Um, press pause while you're having a go at this and press play when you're ready to come back. OK, so. Um, well done. Um, you've made a series of predictions this morning. I'm hoping that you've um, you've. It's what we call piqued your curiosity that actually you're going to be quite interesting, interested to read the story. Um, there's some there's some really interesting pictures there to really try and try and ignite that interest in you. Um, we're going to move on tomorrow. Um, to start thinking about, um, well, we'll be reading a part of the book and then be starting to think about how we could write some descriptive writing and some persuasive writing based on that. OK, thank you ever so much for um, watching the video. Um, I hope you all stay safe and I will speak to you on Wednesday morning tomorrow. OK, take care. Bye bye.